10A Estate Morningstar. Three bedrooms, two and a half baths. Beautiful layout, gorgeous view overlooking Salt River. I'm standing in the parking court here and let me quickly go in here and show you the mechanical room garage generator. But you do have a garage with a ramp that you can easily drive your car up in here. Nice big workspace here for anybody who's a workshop kind of guy or gal. Dual, actually no, that's a single tank elevated so it's gravity fed down. I was thinking that was two tanks, but it's actually one tank there with a nice own in. I think it's a 6.5 kilo, kilowatt diesel generator. Runs like a champ. Those things will outlive us all as long as you change oil and take care of it. This owner certainly has. You've got a mango tree, which puts out big, beautiful purple mangoes. The, the good ones, the big ones that feed a family. Not bearing at the moment, but and there's also a tangerine tree right there. No damage in the hurricane. Very well built house. minor gutter type of stuff and landscaping obviously tangerine tree but you enter in and voila you are in heaven so you enter this courtyard door off the driveway you come right out onto the pool patio and off to the right is outdoor dining and covered outdoor dining and then you've got sunny outdoor dining over here but check out this view of salt river you don't see this very much. It's hard to get this close to Salt River and still have enough elevation to give you that. I mean, that's gorgeous. Looking across to Judas Fancy over there, Salt River Bay. You've got the uh, Flyers restaurant down below. So you do have a restaurant very close by. Go get a afternoon cocktail or a burger. Just a big, open, comfortable space. Awesome for entertaining. Can have a lot of people up here partying. Uh, owner recently replaced all of the water line tile, so that's all brand new. So let's go into the living room. Bright, cheery, open, breezy, just beautiful. Looking out towards the south here, looking over the back part of Salt River. All new windows, these are all brand new aluminum swing out windows. Nice collar ties for structural strength and architectural appeal. Beautiful tile, it's got these nice little inlays. Just really a classy Caribbean, Spanish Caribbean look. And I mean, from the kitchen and the living room, you just look out to the sea, it's beautiful love this house kitchens open to the living area all nice stainless steel appliances the owners even got it all set up with all of your um, utensils uh, you know everything's lined up and ready to roll so you can literally just move in here look at that kitchen sink I mean all of he's gone through and literally organized everything has it set up so you can unpack your bags grab yourself a coffee cup and get at it got your microwave there beautiful stainless steel general electric fridge dishwasher electric oven and stovetop there's a half bath perfectly positioned here off the living area with a swing out windy window if you want it's got a ventilation there as it is, but you can swing it out completely if you wanted to. New fully full-size Whirlpool stack washer dryer. Nice folding space here. Bonus beer fridge. Nice folding table. Nice to look out. Get a lot of breeze in here. So when you're doing laundry, there's lots of air. This is one of the houses where if you're not an air conditioned type person, you certainly can do air conditioning. It's designed for it. These windows do close up and seal up so you can keep the AC in. You do have the lights above, so you'll still get natural light. But, and there's places to put one. I mean, you could easily add one to this living room. But I don't think if you bought this house, you would ever run the air conditioning. The current owner does not. A 
Okay, so came in the door here, looking back out to the car park. So we close the door. Now you're in the privacy of the house. Doing some photography right now. First guest bedroom. Could easily set a king size bed in that gap. He chose to go with the twins. Same beautiful collar ties and look at the steel fabrication that they do to cut, to tie these in. You'll see, see that bracket right there. Beautifully done, all custom made. Nice long closet on the left and extra storage above for stuff like luggage and that sort of thing. Beautiful cross breeze coming through this space right now. You got a Jack and Jill guest bath. So these two bedrooms share this bath. Nice swing out window here if you want to have a little extra breeze in the bathroom. And I don't know if I pointed that out, but that's a brand new air conditioning unit. So the bedrooms are air conditioned. So if you wanted to add air conditioning to the living room, you can do that, but I honestly don't think you ever would. If I were buying the house, I'd live with it for a while and see if you really need it. Nice to have in the bedroom, especially if you're gonna do rentals. If you're, if you're gonna plan to do vacation rentals and that sort of thing, they, people tend to like air conditioning in the, at least in the bedrooms. Okay, so that's two bedrooms off to this would be the west one two with jack and jill bath and then further down at the end with a view is the master bedroom and off to the right is a different view miss shaya and then here we are vented circular window there ac above same ample storage closet below And here we are looking out the master bedroom window. There's one on either side of the bed. You have master bath. Nice tiled shower. Linen closet. Mahogany pegs for your towels. And now let's go take a look at the closet. So you have a long closet that runs this whole length. Storage above. And then you have a full walk-in closet as well. So you get tons of closet space, ton tons of closet space and storage. You got a water heater in here. So big closet. In my world, this is the his. And that's the hers, but that's a whole nother discussion. Okay, so that's the master. Now let's shoot down. I'll show you the dog run, or as I prefer to call it, a kid run. Where this whole area is fenced off all the way around to the side of the house, around to the north, to the east, and back around. I'll show you. We'll go down, check out the pool pump room real quick. Down here at the end, you've got your pump room where you got your pool pump, filter, new salt chlorinator system. It's a Pentair. That's the brand I like and prefer and use in my properties. And then you've got triple filter situation here with 75 micron sediment, 25 micron sediment, 5 micron charcoal, up through the UV ultraviolet light, and then up into the house. So. There's your cistern pump. With that set up, you're basically getting Fiji quality water out of your taps. Good stuff. And then this, again, the dog run continues around. And the, end of the, the end of the living room is there, so the driveway is right there. That's the tangerine tree and the mango tree. And then that's um, where you would close that gate off. And of course, cistern overflow pipe, so your cistern is all out in this area. Great setup. Now, I'll walk around and finish off the video um, by the driveway where I started so you can see how we've come full circle. But if you were a puppy dog, this is where you'd be roo, 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 hanging out. Put a nice dog house right here. A little playground maybe for the kiddos. And here's the ending of it there. There's your gate. So that's a nice, good amount of space for the puppies to run. 
made it all the way full circle back to the car park area and the garage. And there's the road leading in. So you're at the end of this road after you turn off the Salt River Road and you come up here, you're at the very end. So it's just doesn't get any more private in terms of location than this does. So this thing really checks all the boxes for most people. I mean, it's what a fabulous vacation rental or as the current owner uses it, a full-time residence. So if you like the look of it, give us a holler. We'll set up an appointment to show it to you and you too could live this amazing Caribbean dream. I mean, look at this. It's like 82 degrees and sunny. And I think they're getting a foot and a half of snow in New York City today. So sad. Thanks for watching and have a beautiful day.